Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to our Fallout New Vegas playthrough. It's episode number 154. We got this guy to talk to, Dr. Klein. <clears throat> Let's do it. You know, I was worried you could hear that. I was really actually pretty worried you could hear that. Let's uh let's hop Did into you it. You retrieve the technologies yet? We need them as no. I have indicated. Not at all actually. Uh but I have lots of questions for you. I have so many questions for you. Many many questions for you. One of the previous vid visitors spoke to you asked you some questions for sure. Uh let's actually do something else first. Let's do one of these. Let's do the science one. Why yes. We are filled with the knowledge you speak of. Okay. If you wish to know more, simply ask the others. They can help you. Is that a whole new quest or what? No? Okay. Great. Ah, uh, great. No. Okay. Uh, let's do the basics first, then we'll come back on this one. Who are you? I am Dr. Klein. Chief Head Researcher of Logistical Operations and Ideology here at Big Mountain. Ideology. I'm surprised you have not heard of me. Imagine I if they had a word for that. In my field, first chair, as it were, back in the days of chairs. I gotta say, I think the music in this area has gotten every single one of these copyright claim, these videos copyright claimed. And it's definitely going to do it on this one again, but I'm going to turn it down just for my sake. Who's Dr. Mobius? Dr. Mobius was not the horrifying creature you saw upon the screen, twisted by science. He was once one of us, a friend. He researched in directions contrary to the think tank. Brains, 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 always about the brains. So we exiled him. He says he left of his own volition, but that was to save mm. him the embarrassment. Now he sends his intelligence consuming scorpions from the Forbidden Zone to plunder the secrets of Big Mountain. He is a menace. How do they defend themselves? Um, they consume intelligence. Dr. O is certain of his findings, and no one else in the think mm -hmm. tank is willing to test the results. Loss of brainial power. Terrifying. O has said on many occasions his inability to comprehend Mobius's robo schematics is because of repeated robo scorpion stings. Okay. Uh, let me do that again, real quick. So they drain intelligence from living creatures. How? Via chems? I'm not certain. Perhaps it only affects machines. If so, you may be immune. If it is chems, then we have nothing to fear. Since we are afraid, it must not be chems, and you need not fear, which means oh my God. you can test it. Logical. That's great. Uh, I think we have all of these done. Other questions for you? Now, did we get all the options here? We did, okay. Uh, why do I have this passive sensation? Passivity it's field. side effect of the cerebral scrubbing. It won't stop you from excreting or asking questions, apparently. Oh, buddy. I have to correct that <clears throat> next time. No All asking questions. All aggressive tendencies are actively suppressed, however. They are a no-no and not permitted in the think tank. The scrubbing also ensures your silence to keep Big Mountain safe. Okay, hear me out. I have a thought. Secret, and you cannot speak of it to anyone outside of Big Mountain. How many... Sharks. Should have done it with the last batch and the anti-aggression scrub. How many sharks are in the Shark Tank on TV? Are there five? There's like four, aren't there? Are there five? If only there were five, you could do a one-to-one -one comparison. Why the anti-aggression programming? We had to take precautions. Yes, after the I have last to questions visitors. about them. They caused a great deal of damage in a short time. Okay. Should have made sure they couldn't mention Big Mountain once they left. An oversight. Uh, who are those visitors? Dr. Eight and Dr. O could tell you more. Dr. O more than eight. The battle against the visitors damaged Eight's voice module. See, they told me to Suffice ask you, though. To say, those visitors are unwelcome. They stole a great many secrets and much technology. Impertinent. They also broke one of my trains. I'll, I'll ask that here in a second. Um, okay, so... 
Real quick, we're gonna go through the options. I like to fight. Oh, they already said. Okay, we already said that. Um, other questions. What is this place? This is the think tank, the nerve center of Big Mountain, the greatest research center known to man and to us. Here we test and test and test some more in the name of science, atomic power, nuclear power, and scientific. Sounds like power. more that you're in it for power rather than science. I've heard this place called the Big Empty. Yes, because the intellectually challenged see an M and a T <laughs> next to each other and take Occam's razor to it. Okay. While you are here, you will refer to this place properly, and you will do the same with the other. And if I don't, scientists here. And if I don't, uh, physics. Nope, that's not what that says. This is pylons. Uh, forbidden zone. Sure, sure, sure. Forbidden zone. That glowing red scar, that laser lobotomy canyon maze carved in the landscape. I'm ready to get out and get exploring. I know we have to talk while we can, but it is Mobius's fortress. From that hemorrhoidal fissure, he sends his <laughs> amazing robo scorpions to terrify and irritate us. <laughs> How do they defend themselves currently? The dramatic. Do they defend themselves currently, or or not? Nah? Uh, pylons. Ask Boros. I okay. believe he knows more about the fence than any brain. Except maybe Mobius. Mobius was involved in their construction, if I recall. But he's such a hack, he probably was reading off Boros's notes and schematics. Boros's? That's how you're saying that one? I thought it would be like Boris, like... Mm, I guess that's B-O-R-I-S in a name. Boron, B-O-R-O-N. I don't know. Boros? That seems that seems wrong. Boros. Brain extraction. Well, we didn't actually do it. We tried to clean up after, as always, but usually the auto dock runs on remote. But we programmed it, or Mobius did. Still, this new wrinkle with the Tesla coils in your skull was unexpected. I mean, we predicted we'd have a breakthrough eventually, but. Dala knows more. She yep. supervised your spine peel and the heart circumcision, then dumped them both heart into circumcision. the tank above. Quite sanitary. Sure took her time. She always oh, takes longer God. than projected with lobotomite surgeries. Sure I wonder why. why. I wonder why. I wonder why. You said before that Mobius might have my brain. Yes. In all probable likelihoods, yes. Great. Possibly. That it may have gone to Mobius is merely an inkling. I don't know why, but it may be something involving the surgery code. Actually, I don't know. All I know is it misplaced itself, or it floated off. They get do you know? Do you know anything about this? Sounds like you might not know anything about this. Um, what's this surgery code you mentioned? Let's do this one actually. Yes. Always leaves back oh, doors smart. into things. Have to keep okay. finding them and closing them. Okay. The auto dock is now erased of his routines. It was thorough. Only Mobius would know for sure what happened with the procedure. Perhaps. Okay. Mobius well, has all the answers. Your brain, of course, it would know as well. Cool, cool. My brain would know. It can communicate the procedure when we examine it. It is conceivable to trace its oh god Scalpel prints so I have memories of it of the brain Might or take not. some time but your brain has no pain nerve to scream at us while we dissect it convenient I detest screaming in my lab yeah that's good um there's code Mobius's legacy code was in the old auto dock yes it fried itself after your procedure so he couldn't tell for sure okay it is unfortunate we would have benefited from knowing how the breakthrough occurred, even if we installed another chip. Okay. The information is lost. Why would Mobius want my brain? Why does he seek our destruction? Why did he build robot scorpions with intelligence training stingers? It is because he hasn't cleaned his biogel in a long time. Is he though? Clearly he's got some I'm sort really of starting to wonder corrosion. if he's Mobius mad. isn't just maybe the same one here we'll see i there's so many there's so many things to ask More? Very well, do your yeah i know i know 
I mean, you're telling me this is gonna be a long ass time of talking to all you guys. Don't act like I. <laughs> it's a neat trick. You mean you have more questions? And I'm over here like, I guess I got more questions to ask. I don't know. Making me feel bad about it. So somebody spoke to you, asked you some hmm? questions. Oh, yes, the last yep. visitor. Well, the one just before you. An interesting name from some language that's almost impossible to speak. What did we speak about? Melancholy fellow. Had questions about uh, history, but our conversation got interrupted twice, I believe. Once when the trains got derailed, and then a second time. Oddly enough, now that I'm accessing my databanks, I don't recall what the second time was. Mobius's melancholy about history. Me. Also, we didn't brain scrub the visitor. He may have left with some knowledge he shouldn't have. I believe, maybe. Oh well, I'm sure it's of no consequence. Sure. I don't make many mistakes in calculation or perception, so of course. probability favors me. Hmm. Totally. Of course. Okay. Great. Yes. I'm, I'm not getting pop-ups for. There it is. Uh, I'm not getting pop-ups for quests, so we really need to check out this quest thing. Uh. Okay, so that's that's just Gabe. Go to the sink. Install that. Okay. So he mentioned a couple times go and talk to people. So I'm gonna Oh the mint sets were off. I'm gonna really quickly see if I have new options. Nope. We're going to Bullros. First, just in so that I if he does have something to say, I can put up with it before going and talking to my lovely Dala. I mean uh, the rest of our friends over here. I don't think they're gonna have new options, but cool. Just check in the box here. Oh my god, we finally get to leave. Let's go. Okay. So, I'm excited. Uh, let's go back to the sink. I think that's a great one. I think that's probably a fantastic. God, there's still lots of stuff we have not done yet. Let's go to the sink first. I now have this. Check that out. So, this is the, uh, this is the, uh, what's it called? The Sonic Emitter Revelation. Let's just put that on four for now. Um, and then we also have... The Scientist Glove is a weapon? Okay. Is there going to need to be something that I... That I grab with that? That's cool. Very interesting. And then we also have... Bark, bark. Okay, this gun is weird. Okay, sorry, I'm uh, I'm just trying to wrap my brain around that one. Oh, that br that gun is weird. I still don't know that I exactly understand that gun, but it's fine. Um, we'll get there eventually, so. Uh, okay, so. Talk to the auto dock. That's all missing. We can install the intelligence. Revelation is now available in the vendor interface. Okay. Hold up. You know, you're all of a sudden super fucking quiet. I am your electronic valet and household central processor. Valet, huh? May I be of service, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah, please. Uh, I have many questions. What services? Uh, AI? Regrettably not, sir. All modules in this habitat are synthetic personalities atop a mundane operating system. There is no intelligence here, sir. But that said, that is what an AI would say, you know? There are other personalities? Indeed, sir. Though if sir's aim is to activate them, I lament to inform, sir, that most have been offline for some years. Okay. If sir were to ask my opinion, I should venture that sir is better off without them. However, if sir is determined to inflict upon sir's self their dubious services, <laughs> sir might locate backup personality disks elsewhere in the facility. Okay. 
Why is that? Why is what? Why is it that you wouldn't recommend them? Um... The other modules are rather erratic, sir. Their personality matrices are built mm. on flawed logic and have not weathered the years well, sir. Uh, but I can access them without loading personality holotapes? Tragically, the core no. operating systems are also located okay. on the personality Don't tapes, sir. Once the tape is installed, sir may request I switch their dialectic interfaces off, and I shall oblige with great delectation. However, sir will still be required to locate and install a backup holotape to access their personality. Okay. I get it. Why so many? As I am given to understand, sir, okay. this facility was once the property of a Dr. Mobius. He crafted the personality modules as part of a collection of experiments I just realized. on the subject of machine-human interface. As to the reason for the oh my God. choices of devices to receive the modules, I cannot say. I'm a dumbass. Might I be of service, sir? Oh, I was like, the music followed me out of that room, and I thought maybe the music was stuck in that well, room. Not, yeah, okay, so I learned all this. Cool. What services do you provide? In addition to managing the personality matrices of the other household utilities, I can provide, sir, with direct access to the commissary. Any okay. goods, sir, might require may be purchased through my shopkeep interface, whence tiny robots should deliver them forthwith to this very domicile. Forthwith to this very domicile. I'd like to buy some things. Ooh, equip. Very good, sir. Equipment repaired? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, that's not that expensive, but... There's no way you could uh, get my Desert Ranger combat armor, right? 14,000 fucking caps. Okay. Yeah, bummer. Uh, it's not going to be worth it. Um, sweet. So, let's do the buying, though. I'd like to buy some things. Oops, sorry. I clicked the wrong button there. Uh, I have a scientist glove that I could buy. Okay. Or buy another one of the one that I already have. Okay. Patient gown, radiation suit, science scrubs. Some aid. Great. Okay. Might I be of I think that's everything here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. So that's done. Um. <clears throat> Find missing modules, sure, sure, sure. And we could certainly do that for sure. Um, yeah. All right, let's let's look at where that would lead us. That would lead us a lot of different places. So I think we've now looted everything here. Um, sir is looking exceptionally sharp. I think we've looted everything as well. So I think it's time to go. I mean, crazy as it seems, I think it's time to. I don't know that I have any quests around here anymore. Gabe in Higgs Village is is down there, okay. And then these are all in different places. Sink, Autodoc, Biological Research Station, okay. Okay. Well. Uh, I think I gotta go this way, and then Big Empty. Let's do it. Oh my God, we finally get to leave. It seems uh, it seems a little uh. Ooh. I'm going to leave that on for a second. I need to get turned back on. You know? Who said that? I mean, are you just up there? Is that your place? I don't know. Can't tell. Can I can I walk on the grass? I appear to be. A oh my god, the dog! When you put it away, it mournfully whined. That's funny. Oh, didn't need that. Uh, okay. So. 
I gotta turn this. I gotta turn this music off. I thought maybe if it turned it back on, there was a reason for it. I don't know that that's the case. Um. Okay. Well. We got options. I don't know what to do first. I think exploring is the right call. I think we just explore a little bit. We scratch that itch for me. I have the I have the itch. I have no idea if you guys have the itch, but I have the itch. Um, just straight up. First off, I have the itch to do a little bit of looty, a little bit of scooty. I'm stuck. X12. Okay, so there's plenty of like this is not one that I necessarily needed. There's plenty of places. Okay. Hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, buddy. What oh, the fuck are you? What the fuck are you? I gotta switch guns. Oh my god. The fuck are you, by the way? It's a lobotomite. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm stuck on something. Just let me shoot you in the head. This is not a... This is not a, a thing I need to be doing here. Okay, come here. I thought for sure I was going to see some scorpions. I saw no scorpions. Um, Lobotomite, okay. He's got a crutch. He's got a mask. That's a fucking creepy mask, I will say. Machine gun. You as well. It lowers your intelligence. God, these are creepy fuckers. God damn. There's another something over here. Okay. Uh, there. Right there. What are you? The Night Stalker? Surrender yourself. You cannot win despite the fact that the odds are heavily in your favor. Excuse me. Please die. We're gonna have to figure something. Oh, hello. You're an enemy? Police cyber dog. Okay. Oh my god. I also got hit hard. It only felt right to use the dog weapon on the dog. Alright. <clears throat> Honestly, I kind of been getting lit up. Oh, I have no, I have bad armor on. That's why I should put better armor on. Um, put the armor on, put that on. That'll help. That'll help a lot. <laughs> I was like, why am I getting lit up o over here? There's another enemy this way. Should also probably switch switch guns to something else. But oh, hello. We're also taking a little bit of radiation. Sorry, I'm just trying to- I'm, I'm just kind of getting used to the world here. And, uh, and I'm- I don't like killing the dogs. I really don't like killing the dogs. Oh my god, the little, like, ears on the top of this gun. What the hell? Just, just kind of trying to get used to the world here. A little bit. Do we have Sunset Sarsbrillas on a, uh, our actual- we have purified water. All right, cool. We're going to need to use a bunch of those. So what do we want to do first? Um, that's the X-13 research facility. Pig's Village is down. By X-2. Okay. Let's maybe go to X-2.
X2 is that way. Sure. I don't know. We got this thing right here. We should probably go into this thing, right? Let's save it real quick. I don't think it's going to hurt. It's just outside. Level one? Oh my god. This has like a portal vibe to it. This 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 cyber dog gun is absolutely enormous and it is kind of a little bit annoying at how big it is. Uh okay. So cool. X sorry, this is twelve, not X2. X twelve. Uh This is where this the gun was sealed. Request for assistance. We've had a small issue with one of our Y-17 trauma harnesses. Sadly, a member of the X-12 research team choked on a buffalo gourd seed and died while working late last night. For some reason, his Y-17 trauma harness will not shut down. In fact, it's begun malfunctioning and causing the late Mr. Harris to attack other employees. Any prototypes you could lend us as a means to stop it? I'll send over the Cyberdog gun. It should do the trick. Had another unfortunate occurrence while attempting to destroy the harness. The disaster control team member carrying the gun slipped and fell, dropping the weapon, unarmed. The team had to flee. Seal off the lab. Unfortunately, gun was sealed in here. Okay. So... I am confusion. Oh, hello. <laughs> Small number of bones rattling. Excuse me? It doesn't appear to be a way for me to turn this off, right? That must mean that I have to come back to this later. All right, cool. I'm coming back to that later. That's another time. We're going to go do the game as it intends us. Okay, here's a crazy idea. We're going to go do things in a vague order of what the game intended us for them to do them. Or at least, at least try our best. We go towards X2. Oh my god. The growl actually scared me, but it was my own gun. Why does this gun not shoot accurately? Like, I feel like what happens is, uh... It just scatters all over the place. I don't know. Gun's weird. Still figuring out the gun. We're taking hella damage, by the way. It's like a minigun type of thing, so I should probably expect that, I guess. Hello? Where? Like, not probably exactly a, a minigun type of situation right there, for instance. Maybe we're gonna learn these things today. Mm hmm. Guess that works. We're just gonna. This is just, you know. I, I feel like I'm explaining away my bad gameplay here, but like, just gonna experiment a little bit with these different guns. See what happens. Attention, big mountain. This is an urgent message. So fucking loud. If you happen to see a gecko, echo, 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 echo. I actually like that a lot. That's funny. Uh, I'm into it. <clears throat> I'm into it. All right. Well, what a weird, weird start we're off on, huh? Okay, we're approaching the place. I think this is Radex. Buff out. It appears that there is at least a little bit of. I don't know why the game is running like dog shit as I walk over here. Like, we are dropping frames. 
Not in the actual recording, just in the game. Weird. Uh, there's a bunch of them over here. Uh-oh. Hope this works. Oh, that's not doing nearly enough damage. Alright, cool. It's a fine gun. It's a... It's a perfectly fine gun. Um, but I don't like it. Give me my shit. Give me my shit. Any other guns? Oh, you're just reloading? Jesus Christ, I'm getting eaten up here. We'll figure this out as we go. A cherry bomb for no money. For no value. Interesting. I don't know why, but I walked over here and things are falling apart. Like that. Whew. Save a bunch. Game is running like dog shit. Alright, that's gonna have to do it for this episode. In the next one, we'll continue onwards. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, we're out and about, finally. Let's go. I can't wait. Uh, if you did, I'd appreciate a like or a positive comment for the YouTube algorithm. Either's fine. Whatever you need. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed it. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.